In this video I'll explain how to return a list of all installed packages in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you an example based on the installed packages that I have installed on my own computer. And this tutorial starts in line two of the code and in this line of code I'm using the install packages function to return all installed packages that I have stored on my computer. And then I'm also modifying the output of this using the sdataFrame function and the C function to extract only certain columns that are returned by the install packages function. So if you run line two of the code, you can see that a new data object is appearing at the top right, which is called my packages. And then in lines three and four, I'm also modifying this data object that I have returned. So you can simply run these lines of code. I will provide all the code that I am using in this tutorial in the description of this video so you can check it out there. However, what I want to show you is the output of this code. And the output of this code is a data frame which is called my packages. And we can have a look at the first rows of this data frame by running line five of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that we have created a data frame which contains two columns. And the first column contains the name of the package that I have installed. And the second column contains the version of the package that I have installed. So for instance, I have installed the AD MISC package, the ASK pass package, the assertive package and so on. And you can also see at the top right that our data object contains 233 rows. So in other words, I have installed 233 packages. If you want to have a look at the entire list of packages, you can click on this data object that you can see at the top right. So if you click on this data object, a new window is opened, which is showing all packages that we have installed on our computer. So as you can see, the first six rows are what I have shown before. However, you can scroll down and see which packages I have installed with which version. You can also see that this list of packages is ordered alphabetically, so you can easily scroll down and find the package that you are looking for. So for instance, let's assume I want to find the package dplyr, then I can scroll up and as you can see in line 49 of our data set, I have installed the dplyr version 1.0.6 on my computer. So as I have mentioned before, you can find the code that you can see here in the description of the video. So you can just copy paste it to your own R Studio session, execute it there and you will receive a data set as the one that I have shown in this tutorial. So in this video, I have explained how to get a list of installed packages using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code that I have shown in this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description as well. If you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.